is one of Germany's most famous fashion designers and himself a famous face. He's been in the business for decades. Jörg's life and work have now been chronicled in a new illustrated biography, which he launched at the Frankfurt Book Fair in October. He's used to the attention, still the excitement remains. I've been in the limelight my whole life. When I come here, it's as if I just escaped execution. I feel more reprieved than rewarded. A lot of people would think I've had such a richly rewarding life. But I always feel I have been reprieved. Together with his mother, Wolfgang Jürg spent the post-war years on a farm in Potsdam. It was an upbringing dominated by women. When he was eight, he was taken to Braunschweig in West Germany by the father he had never met before. The boy clearly had promising skills as an artist. He reluctantly went to university, but later dropped out in order to focus on art. In 1970, he married Karen Benatsky, with whom he had two daughters before they divorced. Jette Jorp is now also a fashion designer in her own right, while Florentine is an author of children's books. The difference to Karl Lagerfeld and Jill Sander is that he always had a family as well. The other two were very much committed to their careers and refused to be distracted. Wolfgang is a real family man. It was more by accident that Wolfgang Jupp entered the fashion business. But his 1978 fur collection secured him the big breakthrough. A series of ladies' and men's lines followed in the 1970s and 80s, plus accessories, now bearing the world-famous Jupp brand. He worked closely with supermodels like Nadia Auermann and Claudia Schiffer. In the late 90s, Wolfgang Jupp sold most of his shares in his company and decided to embark on new ventures. He set up a brand new label called Wunderkind. It is based in the town he grew up in, Potsdam. And it is very close to the famous Sanssouci Palace grounds, formerly home to Prussian royalty. I used to try and design beautiful products. And with Job, I was working within a product world. When I design clothes today, I take the same approach that an artist does with a work of art. The Wunderkind label has enabled Wolfgang Jupp to spread his wings as a fashion artist. Author, artist and fashion designer in one, Wolfgang Jupp's sketches and paintings have already been featured in solo shows. He also won a claim for his debut novel, inspired by his personal experience of the fashion industry. He's a very versatile yet vulnerable character. He's been through a lot in life and is ridiculously honest. Some people think he's terribly loud. Okay, he's an extrovert, but he's also incredibly reflective. Joop's Wunderkind line has been grabbing the headlines this year. In Paris, he unveiled his Hurt and Heal collection, featuring surgical stockings on the catwalk. This collection is called Power and Poverty, a name that belies the price tags of up to 8,000 euros. For me personally, my aesthetic ideal was always something that didn't conform or pander. Things that are standardized or churned out en masse are not my style. That's where my artist's heart comes in. Wolfgang Jupp is in step with the zeitgeist, but remains faithful to his own artistic vision.